Welcome. This lesson is a continuation of circle and circumference. Let's look at our number routine about Lorena. Lorena measured a fountain diameter, the distance across. Find a circumference or the distance around. So what did we learn yesterday? We learned yesterday that it takes about 3.14 diameters to wrap it around a, the edge of a circle or the perimeter of the circle or the distance around a circle. So if the diameter is 48, let me get my pen, choose, then well, let me use a different pen color. Then I can wrap out around one diameter, first diameter, second diameter, third diameter, and a smidge more. So this first diameter is about 48 inches. This is second diameter is 48 inches. The third diameter is 48 inches. So 48 times 3, that's 24 carried to 2. That's 12, 3 times 4 is 12 plus 2 is 144. So it's a little more than 144 inches. In our next lesson, not this one, we'll actually use the formula to find a more accurate uh, measurement of the rim circumference or the distance around. So, say pi. You click on the words to see a short demonstration. So, in this demonstration, we have a circle. We're going to use the slider to set the diameter, click on roll to unravel it. So if I had a scissor and I cut this, imagine this is like a uh, 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 the crust of a pizza or a bicycle tire. So we cut. Now drag copies of the diameter onto the unravel circumference. So one, two, three. Pi is the number of times that a diameter fits into a circumference. Pi is approximately 3.14. So as you can tell, it takes three diameters and a smidge more, like 0.14, to wrap around the circumference or the edge of a circle, the perimeter of a circle, the distance around a circle. What if you have a really large circle like this? Will it still be 3.14, the ratio between the circumference and diameter? Let's see. I roll it out. That's the first roll. So, one diameter, two diameter, three diameter, and a smidge more. So it does take 3.14. What if I have a really tiny circle? Well, it still takes 3.14 diameters to wrap around a circle or the edge of a circle. One, two, three, and yes, it does. So, now that we understand that, um, again, the vocabulary, diameter is the distance across, and distance around the circle is called circumference. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be getting a piece of Oreo cookie. You're going to measure the perimeter of your Oreo. That is called the circumference. So if I measure it, it is about 14 centimeters. So imagine I have this Oreo cookie right here. I measure it, it's about 14 centimeters around the perimeter of this Oreo, the distance around or the edge. And then you use the measuring tape to measure the distance across your Oreo. And I measured it already. It was 4.5 centimeters. Record your findings. Now find three other circular objects and repeat steps one through three. For example, maybe I find a, a pancake. I just came back from Amsterdam and God, it seemed like they only know all the food is strudwaffles and a lot of pancakes. So imagine I have a pancake and the circumference was about 30 centimeters and the, that's the perimeter of the pancake and the diameter was 10 centimeters. So next thing, title the last column of the table circumference over diameter Rounding to the nearest hundred, you will use a calculator. Use a calculator to determine the approximate decimal value of the ratio for each circle. When you divide the circumference by diameter, what is the number? So let's go back here. So where is my dot, 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 dot. So 
when I divided the circumference by the diameter, I got 3.11, which is actually really good because we know the answer is supposed to be 3.14. When I measure my pancake and divided the circumference by a diameter, I got the ratio of 3, which is not that bad. Um, I do predict in my classes, some students will come up with 3.14, depending on how they measure it. So the main thing what we discover here is that the number we kept, should have gotten is 3.14. 3 is a good estimate. 3.14 is a little more accurate, but it does goes on forever and ever, like 3.141579 and so on and so on. So, on. so uh, use what you know about the ratio of circumference to diameter to explain. How to find the circumference if given a diameter? We know it takes three diameters, 3.114 diameters to wrap around the perimeter of a circle or around a circle. So for example, if I have a pancake that is, has a diameter of 10, it takes one first diameter, 10, second diameter, 10, a third diameter, 10, and then 0.14, so it's 30, 31.4, 31.4. How do you find the diameter given a circumference? So if I was given, imagine the circumference was about 11 centimeters. So it takes one diameter, two, three. So I would have to, so you have to divide it, divide the circumference into thirds. Um, so that's how you can find the diameter. And this is a really good video. Um, I will play it right now for you. So Pi Day is March 14th, if you didn't know that by now. So for example, um, how can I find a circumference? Name this line. This line is called diameter. So this line is called diameter. How can I find circumference? I know it takes about 3, 12, 12, 12, 12, 24, 36. So it's a little more than 36 centimeters. Uh, and so on and so on. Uh, name this line. This is called the radius. So how long is the diameter? Two radius makes a diameter. So the diameter is 14 centimeters. So 14, 14, 14. So 14 times 3. So it's a little more than 42 centimeter is the circumference of this circle. So this line is called a radius. 2 radius makes a diameter, so the diameter is 10 centimeters, 1, 2, 3, so about 30-ish, a little more than 30, if you want to know that more accurate, it's about 31.4 uh, centimeters. So this is the study of circumference, diameter, and radius.